episode, let me attempt uh, to comply. Master Patni, Jalo Saha, thanks for the opportunity to be here. Uh, I want to stick to the three or four things that uh, Marshall wanted us to talk about. Uh, I want to start with the first point, which you saw talked about, our views on offsets and how that has been able to provide benefit to the Indian industry, to the Air Force. Let me do a snap poll. How many of you in this room believe that the offsets have delivered the promise over the last seven years? No. Any hands? Not a single hand. <coughs> How many of you in this room believe that the offset obligation that's been laid on OEMs have come for free? Nobody? So who pays for this? Air Force. How much do you pay for this? You don't know. It's not spelled out. Are Air Force capital budgets under constraint? I hear it all day long. Imagine the money you paid for offset is freed up to do some capital activations. In the context where nobody in this room believes that offsets deliver on the promise. Is it time to have a thought-provoking discussion? Abolish offsets. It has not delivered, it costs money. So how do you bring a good company, if that's the case, if that's the thought, how do you actually bring the Indian industry into the fold? You do the way you heard in the previous panel, by helping them become globally competitive. <coughs> by injecting on them the prince, basic principles of manufacturing. What does it take to have manufacturing, global company manufacturing? It requires labor. Not just any labor, we're talking about aerospace, we're talking about highly skilled manpower. It requires capital. These are long-term gestation projects. You have to figure out a way to bring capital which can live for a long time without earning returns. It won't happen with get-rich-quick VC capital. It requires long-term capital. Right? It requires supply chain management know-how. Right? It requires an ability to manage tiered supply chain structure, not just tier one, but tier two, tier three. Let's ask the OEM partners to step up and do those, those things, and not gum them up in offset management, which takes a lot of energy for just accounting. <coughs> just as a thought, you know, perhaps there's a way to free up capacity, intellectual capacity, execution capacity, your capacity in capital budget. <coughs> to buy more and not throw that back into something which has, according to this group, has not delivered. So, okay, sir, in, in light of the time, seven minutes, let me come back and address the other questions. On strategic partnerships, very important uh, initiative. Uh, it's really isn't, uh, is, we, we are at an inflection point. But as you embark on strategic partnerships, Let's go beyond the procurement-based strategic partnership only. Because what happens if you buy, if you do a strategic partnership only, let's say helicopters or fighters, and you limit it just based on procurement, what happens to the partnership after the, the production run is over? You have to think about this partnership as a long-term commitment to build the capabilities in the country, to really have a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 year run from that. And that really begins with a right to left thinking. Where do you want to be in 40 years time, 30 years time, and therefore what, how do you <coughs> use the current procurement process to wedge open that long term journey? And that requires a systemic approach, not just near term procurement. So corrupt your OEM partners, industry partners in that long-term <coughs> Coming back to 
the third point, sir, about the depth of the ecosystem. Uh, I completely agree. It, ha it has to go beyond tier ones. It has to go tier two, tier three, and it, it ha you have to really figure out a way to have integration of system of systems. And we have to create capability for our Indian supply base for them to manage their own sub tier suppliers. You know, we uh, at Boeing had good fortune of doing that, uh, both with SMEs as well as large companies. Uh, you know, our Chinook helicopters, they, uh, the large sections of that Chinook helicopters are built by Dynamatics, which is it's an SME uh, itself. But you know how many sub tier suppliers are managed in India? 17. Right? And they are developing a new muscle managing that. They are working with, you know, uh, MSMEs. In fact, the sub tier suppliers are not just MSMEs, they are large companies. You know, Dynamatics tier 2 suppliers are Mahindra's and Tata's. Right? So, having that capability to get deeper is very important. And 